Hola, how are you doing? I'm very good. How are you? ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien. ¿Y tú? What is that? So far as I'm going, I don't know anymore. Y tú means and you. It's very and easy. You. Uh, I'm doing very well, thank you. How do I say that? How do I say good? Exciting. Eh, muy bien. Feliz. Emocionado. Feliz. Yeah, feliz and is easy. Yes, I think I can't remember that. <laughs> I'm forgetting about the end of this interview anyway. So, how are you doing? I'm doing good, man. Good, uh, good, good to talk to you. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Uh, where are you at the moment? I'm in Miami, Florida. How about you? Mm. I'm in Manchester. Nowhere as good as Florida. We love Florida, me and my family. It's great. Manchester. Mm -hmm. I, I like the way, I, I, I would love to go to Manchester. I've never been. It's good. If you go to yeah. the nice parts of it, yeah, it, it's good though. I, I'm sure you, you've got to come to see a football match with me if you do come. Yeah, when I think of Manchester, I think of of the football team. Mhm. Mm Which one? Though? Me? I, of Manchester. There's two. Manchester oh, there are City two. or Manchester United? Which one? Oh man! See, now I got in trouble. I don't know. Both of them. I don't know. What 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 team do you root for? I'm Manchester City. Yeah, me too. That's what I was gonna say. Yes, great. <laughs> we could be friends now. We'll get along now. We're all right. As long as you get, do, you have any hookups to get me into one of the, the the matches? Well, yeah, you could definitely come with us, but we don't have posh seats, so don't be expecting paradise. No, I like I like the seats up in the nosebleeds. That's what I'm used to. That's where the real fans are. Yes, well, yes, well, that's good because we don't have posh seats. No, nah. I mean, <laughs> we could sit in a box, but. We like the atmosphere. Nah, that's that sounds too boring for me. Yes, of course. Yes, forget posh. We got proper atmosphere. <laughs> that's awesome. Love it. Thank you. So I'm going to give you a little introduction because with every superstar that I've interviewed or done a GG talk with, I should say, uh, I've introduced him. I've given him proper introduction. So it's only right and fair that you get a good one too. Well, hope okay. it's fun. Right, okay. So at the end, can you rate it out of 10 for me? Can I what? I'm sorry? Rate it out of 10. Rate, like, rate to 10? Rate, so, so like, if it's like a 1 out of 10, it's trash. Okay, so gotcha. Like, if it's like a 10 out of 10, it's great. Hands down, it's going to be a 10 out of 10. But we'll give it a go. We'll give it a shot. Are you okay. ready? You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my, my earbuds in to, just so I can hear you. Okay, I'll wait for that then. Yeah, I got mine in. One. Good, we're good. Oh, I can't hear you now. Can you hear me? Oh, I can hear you now, yeah. Okay, you working? Right, let's go, let's go. Oh, there you go. Now, yeah, I, now I, can I, can hear well, I can hear you fine. Right, let's go. Today the, G today, the Global Gift Foundation have arranged yet another Global Gift international superstar yes we've got another international superstar for our latest gg talk and today joining me is the main man himself known all around the world as a singer songwriter producer and actor he even wrote one of the biggest spanish language hits in musical history with despacito getting over six billion views on youtube which is making it the most watched youtube video of all time pretty cool if you all Pretty cool if you ask me. I mean, that's awesome. Six billion. I wish I could get that. Uh, so, <laughs> please welcome the main man himself, the legend, of course. He is the Wonder Boy. Well, yeah, he looks like a Wonder Boy. He looks about, I don't know, you look really young for your age. He is, <laughs> of course, Lewis Fonzie. What do you think? That, that was amazing, Braden, man. I think that was like an 11. An 11? Yes. You well, broke the really? scale, man. You broke the like scale. That. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Good job. So, thank you for that introduction. That was amazing. Oh, and by the way, I like your cap. You're looking swag. Thank you. I'm home, so, you know, we're just, we're keeping it oh, low key. Yeah. Make sure the sun doesn't heal us through the, through the roof. Woo. I haven't Being gotten a haircut in a while, so, like, you know. Oh, I need my haircut as well. Yeah. Now, now you just look cool. You look cool evil. I don't know. Honestly. Thank you. But I, I like the cap. I like the cap thank a you. lot. So, I know that you're obviously a singer, songwriter, producer, and you've even done a bit of acting. But can you please tell me what you do for the Global Gift Foundation? How do you help? Well, first of all, let me just start off by saying that, you know, um, I love 
uh, I love working alongside uh, Global Gift Foundation. What they do is amazing. They do amazing work um, worldwide. Um, they help out so many families. Um, they work alongside different foundations. Um, and, and their mission, I think, is just great to, to improve the quality of life of, of, of children and families, um, to help uh, children with special needs, um, and, to, and to raise money to do good for people. And um, I, I just think, it, you know, being um, a musician, being um, a, a celebrity is, is a blessing. I thank God every day that I, that I get to do what I love to do. Um, that I have a lot of followers, and, and, and I don't take that for granted at all. Um, so I think it, it should be our mission as well um, to, uh, you know, to, to tag team with amazing organizations like Global Gift and, and, do, and do good for others. You know, I also have my own foundation, but, uh, it, it, you know, it's, it's so important to give back. It is so important, and I've, I've been blessed enough to, to work with Global Gift to – to perform in, in some galas in, in Dubai, um, to go to galas in, in Spain, um, to visit and to see what they do, what they have done and what they are doing um, to help children. So there is a lot of work to be done. Um, I think they have an amazing team uh, of people and, uh, and I hope to keep doing uh, a lot of work uh, with Global Gift. Mm -hmm. Well, as you said, they have an amazing team. They've got an incredible team. I mean, I've interviewed just a few of them. I've interviewed Nick Eid, who's the PR man for the Global Gift Foundation here in the UK. I've interviewed Eva Longoria, who's done Anastasia, which was pretty cool, and that was my last one. But now, of yeah. course, we've got Louis Fonzie. And, I mean, it can't really get better than that. Them names are some mic drops right there. <laughs> Thank you, man. You're making me feel good today. I appreciate that. Well, I mean, I mean, this is a great way to occupy myself. I mean, I've been bored all day, but then it comes to that point of the day, I'm like, oh, yeah. Oh, this is where it gets fun. Get to interview celebrities and all for a good cause, of course, keeping people entertained. This, yeah. this is entertaining, right? I hope. Uh, it is for me. I'm having fun. And I hope everybody who's, who's logged in is, is really enjoying this you know, this interview. I think you're doing a great job. You, you're mm. a way better interviewer than most of the people who interview me? Let me just not, let me just say that right now. I'm not sure about that one, but thank you very I'm much. Serious. We've got I, 1, I'm serious. I'm dead serious. And I mean, as you said as well, uh, you've got a lot of followers. I mean, we've just said hello from India on there. Literally, as I say, it says hello from India, and you've got 9.2 million followers on Instagram. That's a lot, if you ask me. That is absolutely a ton of people, and people like to. But as you say, a celebrity like you to be in uh, all different foundations, I mean, as you say, you have your own, but then Global Gift, I mean, people must look up to you and think, what a legend. You truly, you are an inspiration to a lot of people around the world. But I've got a question to ask you now, yeah? We, of okay. course, you're Louis Fonzie, yeah? Yes. When I heard that, the first thing that pops into my head is, no way, my friends are going to go crazy because the song that's that's just gone for ages, it's not really got old, is Despacito. So I've got to start off with Despacito, of course. So when you've written that, when did you know that it was going to be so huge? Did you think this is actually going to go massive? Did you ever think that it was going to go this big? Um, No. Not, not at all. You know, it, it, it's, I think still, it, it's been a little bit over three years since I um, released it in, in over four years since I wrote it. I actually wrote it in this same exact room where I'm sitting at, in this Boom. sofa, in this sofa right here, that sofa with That's that guitar it. right there. Um, That's where the magic so happened. This is it. This is my little, this is my little hideaway. It's a little room that it's a, it's a home studio, and this is where I record and write most of my things. Um, you know, the small things that I do. Obviously, when we record big orchestras and live drums and stuff, we go to to professional studios. But but I'm 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 very I'm a low key kind of guy. I love to keep it as low key as possible, and I love working out of home studios. To me, it just makes me feel, you know, just more comfortable and more real. So um, back to your question. You know, when I'm the, the, the song started with just an idea um, that revolved around the word despacito, which means slowly. Um, and it, it was just kind of one of those clear ideas that I woke up 
one morning with, and I came running from my bedroom, which is on the other side of the house. I came running to this room. I turned on, you know, the, 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 the pro tools and uh, got on that mic right there. And then I just started just throwing ideas out before I forget them. Because, you know, a lot of times you get these ideas and then you forget them right away. Yeah, so that happens to me in school. Yeah. It's a great <laughs> idea to say, right, think about ideas today. So not this is in the morning, then tomorrow you'll be writing them. You come to it to, the next day, you're like, what was it? What was that again? Yeah, yeah. That happens. That happens a lot of music. And and listen, one little one little musical note that's different makes makes quite a big difference in the melody. So uh, you know, and usually the the very first instinct, that very first idea, is usually the best one. Um, and then we it gets in our head, and then we start trying to fix it. And what we end up doing is messing it up. So I'm a big believer in that. Original idea is always the best. Um, so I came here, I recorded it, um, and then I think it was that later that afternoon I had scheduled a writing session with a dear friend of mine called Erika Ender, who's a great songwriter. Um, and I played the original idea that I had. It was just basically the chorus um, and some of the lyrics. And, um, and she loved it. And we sat down here on the floor and, and we put the song together probably like in an hour or two hours. In an um, hour? Yeah, yeah, it just, it, it just sort of wrote, I, I like to say that it wrote itself. Um, and then that day we felt really strong about it, but we just let it be. And then I started working on my album and writing other songs and recording other songs. But for some reason, Despacito always sort of floated to the top, you know? And um, it wasn't until, I'm, I'm making this answer really long, sorry. I, I'll, I'll wrap it up. It wasn't this is until great. um getting all the insides and out <laughs> <laughs> until I met two great guys uh who are who produced the album and who I currently work with quite a bit um Andres and Mauricio who are really two talented um uh, songwriters producers they're from Colombia they're based out of LA and and I played them the idea and then they came up with the track and this was again done in this little room um they came here, they got in the computer on the keyboard and, and they pretty much put all of that together in one day. Um, and that's when it started. That's when it started to feel like the song sounded like a hit. Um, but I never like, I'm never one of those people who's like, yeah, this is a hit. This is going to be huge. I'm, I always stay humble and I'm just like, look, I'm going to work, you know, for it to become a hit, but let's, let's not force it and let's not celebrate too early, you know? Well, so celebrate um, now. Can go yeah. wild, get the champagne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, st I still haven't celebrated. You know, I'm, it, it's been three years, and you know, I obviously I every every night I go to sleep, I I, I thank God. You know, I say a little prayer, and, and I'm and I'm grateful and I'm thankful. But um, you know, it's it's just like it's one of those things you always have to keep it going, and and you always have to um, you're in that constant search for new ideas, and 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 I'm I'm I am very uh, blessed. To, to be able to have traveled the world singing in Spanish to represent where I'm from, which is Puerto Rico. I'm, I'm a proud Boricua and, and I love to, to hear people speaking and singing in Spanish and, and, and to represent the Latino community throughout the world. Um, so that, that, you know, that's probably what I'm mostly proud of um, way beyond um, my personal achievement of, of having a number one song. And I'm also, just to wrap this question up, I'm, I'm also grateful for everybody that was involved in the song, um, like Daddy Yankee, um, you know, who, who, who elevated the song to, to a different level. Um, and later on in the remix, like Justin Bieber, who, who opened up so many doors, you know, um, for me. So, um, you know, all of this, it wouldn't have, you know, the, the final product wouldn't have been um, as successful if it wasn't for them. So it's important to mention that. Well, I mean, I think everyone knows the song now. I mean, as you said, you, you, it was written, like, how many? Three, four years ago. And it's still thriving. It's something that everyone knows. I mean, if you don't, you need to get with it. You really it's still do. Driving, it's still driving people crazy. I know. Isn't it? And as you said, Justin Bieber did it, and he is massive. So it must have been incredible. But you were the original man of it all. You, you made it. You, you, you should get the credit, which obviously <laughs> say, stay on board, but you, you did deserve it. Now, 
this interview drove some of your fans really, 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 really excited. Not because of me, but because you was on it. Like, no way. So we've had loads and loads of requests of questions. So I'm going to read a few out. But if we did all of them, which uh, I'm sorry we can't, we, as I said before, he's got 9.2 million. We'll be here for the next seven days. So, like, I think we've, we've picked some at random. Uh, we've, got, we've, we've got some good ones here. Are you ready for them? Do you mind I'm ready. some with you? Right, so I've got my fishing piece of paper right here. All right. So you've got uh, question one from your fans in Greece. It says, will you be continuing your tour when the virus is over? And do you have any plans to perform in Greece? Oh, you know, I'm, I'm so glad they asked that question because I've actually never been to Greece. Um, it's one of, it, it's, it's definitely top, top, top on my to visit list. Um, you know, once we, we get out of confinement and, and quarantine and we can, and it's safe to travel, it'll definitely be one of the first places, you know, I want to go to with my family um, on, on a personal level and obviously on a professional level um, even more because I would, I would love to, to be able to, uh, to get to know the audience, the people and, and, and get to sing there. So that's, that, that's definitely on my to-do list. Well, I bet they'll be very happy to hear that. They'll be on the roof. Never mind you getting the champagne out. They'll be partying already. Uh, okay. <laughs> so we've got question two from your right, fans in go. Romania now. Gosh. Ooh, nice. They're everywhere at the moment. So do you have any new songs coming out soon? Ooh, mm. we've got any inside little information here. Oh, so, so yes, I, I do. I've been, you know, we've been sort of enclosed and in and, and quarantine for the last three weeks. So I have done a lot of writing and a lot of recording, again, here in this little, in my little cave. Um, and, and I am going to uh, be releasing some, some new things. Um, I'm going to be releasing some songs that I had pre-recorded before um, this situation that we're living. Um, and, and we have done the videos and stuff like that. But, but I have a special release, which um, we still don't know exactly when, but I, I, would, I would assume it's going to be in the next couple of weeks. Um, of, of a really special song. It's something quite different. It's not, you know, it, it's not the typical party song. It, it sort of resembles, um, and, and it sort of talks about the situation that we're living in from a very positive point of view, but a very real and honest point of view. So it's just sort of me and my guitar, um, just Rolling putting, my, putting, putting, you know, wear my heart on my sleeve kind of kind of song. Um, so that that should be out fairly soon so uh, I, I think music music has to be a little bit of an x-ray of, of of what we live you know and and uh, me being a singer songwriter I like to I like to mix it up I like to do party songs but I also like to do romantic songs um and I, I think now where our heart is is just being together being happy with our family with our people being strong um and getting through this situation together um, with a lot of faith and, and, and with a lot of uh, positive vibes. So that's kind of what the song is about. Oh, well, that's very exclusive right there, isn't it? So it's going to be coming out very soon. So yep. now everyone will be like this on the phones for the news. <laughs> when's it out? When's it out? Yeah. The next two weeks until it comes out and then when they come out. Exactly. Like but not a party exactly. song. It's a different type. It's, it's a like powerful song. It's like your song. As it's a said. powerful song in a, in a different way. So I, I hope I hope people enjoy it. I'm sure they will. That's not even a question. So we've got question three from Sarah Viello. We've got, what made you start your career in music? Who were your influences? Um, to me, music was always, it was, was more than a career. It was just sort of a lifestyle. It, it was just what I wanted to do. It was what I breathed. It, it's what I wanted to read about and learn about and, and, and know about um so and I was just sort of born with that gene and I'm, I'm blessed that I knew that you know really early on and that my parents realized it and and that they encouraged me to um to learn more and more you know I, I actually went to college I got a music degree I studied classical music so I am uh I I classically trained because I loved I really wanted to learn um it wasn't really about being famous it was um it was really about being a musician. Um, so, so it, 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 at you know, no point in time I was like, oh, I want to do music now. It was always like I want to do music. Maybe it was more like 
um, now it's now it's the time to start recording. That's probably when you know when when I flipped sort of a switch when I was in college and I said I want to start recording my first album. I want to do it in Spanish, um, and I want to do the kind of music that I love to do. So. Um, and, and as far as inspirations, you know, I, I listen to all kinds of music. You know, I, I grew up listening to, you know, a lot of salsa music because, you know, that's, you know, because I, I'm, I was born in a beautiful tropical island. So we, do, we like to do a little salsa. Um, obviously, great singer songwriters and, and, you know, people like like Stevie Wonder, you know, like Brian McKnight, um, uh, you know, amazing singers like Juan Luis Guerra, like Juan Gabriel, like Jose Jose. Um, so I, I'm I'm lucky that I was able to listen to a lot of different genres, from rock to R&B to salsa to Spanish romantic ballads, and I was able to sort of um, find my way through all of that and 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 become who I am now. So you basically, when you sing, you can cover any basis. Any genre, boom, 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 tick, 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 tick. I mean, I don't know, I don't know if I can, I, I can do it as well as them, but I definitely, I've, I've definitely inspired by them. You know what I mean? I think mm -hmm. the kind of music that I do is where my voice sounds the best. You know, I like, I, I wish I was, I had an amazing rock and roll voice. I don't, or an amazing reggaeton voice, and I don't. But, but I'm still inspired by all kinds of genres. Now, that so as I said before, you cover all genres, but. So that's where your inspiration came from, and you just wanted to learn what you are, what you sound like, from what I've like we've met kind of on Instagram Live. But we can call that as meeting each other. Uh, you're very humble and you're very, as you say, low key. But you've obviously got it. And as Maria said before, Maria Bravo, I've seen it come up. You were born with it, and it definitely sounds like you were. So I've been asking everyone this while I've been uh, interviewing some superstars. So we've got a game for us after, and then that's the last bit. We'll keep you, we'll hold on to you for too long. But the first one is, a man like you must have a secret skill. I mean, I've asked this with Nick, Eva Longoria, Anastasia, and they've been some quite cool ones. We even had a little challenge with Eva. But yeah? what is your secret skill? What did Eva say? I'm, I'm eager to know what Eva said. Eva's was sewing. So she oh. makes a good backpack. We made a pillow, but it, it wasn't the best. So we won't talk about that. But okay. All right, so I have I have several. Um, I I like magic. I do magic. Whoa! Yes. Yes. yes I don't have any. I, I can't do a magic trick because I wasn't prepared for this. Um, but but you know I when I was uh, like middle school, and early high school, um, a buddy of mine we we would we would do uh like birthday parties and stuff, and we would do like a little magic. Brilliant. Set. So we had a we had a little you know we, a lot of cards like I I love sleight of hand it's kind of my favorite kind of magic not the big you know illusionist I mean those are those are cool to watch but I just think the art of magic is something that you can do just do with your hands um, can't do it so I, I love magic uh, I love to cook yes yes Anastasia I, said she loves to cook as well yes. with baking but that's that's quite cool magic yeah, I love to cook. And and I'm also and and just the third I'm I'm a skydiver. Skydiver. Yeah. Wow, that's a there's a lot of different things. So we've got we've got magic, yeah. then we've got baking, cooking, and then we've got skydiving. Yeah. They're three yeah. very different things, but I like it. I like your style. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, mean, I, I I like to mix it up a bit. Mm -hmm. Well, you definitely have that <laughs> skydiving. I'd love to do that when I'm older, of course. I mean. I like baking. Well, I've been trying cooking and baking with my mum lately, but I end up uh -huh. failing and she just ends up saying, why well, have you put that much salt in there? I'm like, was it not supposed to? She's like, <laughs> what did you think? Oh, right, sorry. Ooh, back away now. Uh, it's all good. Then, just keep on trying. But magic. Oh, yes. Now, we've got a, if we see each other any time, uh, uh -huh. fingers crossed we will, but like, if, if that happens, uh, or we come across each other again on Instagram Live, you've got to be prepared for a magic trick, because you've got to show right. anyone now, you can't keep me hanging I'll, on. I will, bring, I will bring a deck of cards next time we meet, and I will teach got you me. a couple little tricks. Oh, will you? Teach yes. me the art of magic. Very yes. excited about that. Now, as I said, before you go, I've uh, got one last game for us to play, okay? It's okay. quick fires. Basically, it's the first thing that pops into your head. I quite like this game. However, I wouldn't be very good at it because I'm not a fast thinker like you. But if you can write a song in one hour, 
or just at least like a song like Despacito and just let it write itself, as you say. I mean, uh -huh. I think you're going to be all right at this. Uh, we'll see. You'll, you'll do it. Okay, no so, pressure. You ready? No, no pressure I'm ready. at all. Fuck, Let's go. We've got to do this in the next three minutes. Okay. <laughs> all right. Ready? Let's go. So what music have you been listening to in the last few days? I have been listening to different things. I like to work out in the morning, so I listen to just like upbeat, uplifting playlists. Mm -hmm. But lately I've been listening to like more 90s uh, music. Like from back in the day when I was, you know, in middle school and I was a student, um, just kind of reminiscing about um, about the past. So like I've been listening to a lot of uh, baby face uh, like a lot of 90s R&B. So that's why you've got big muscles. You work out every morning. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because I'm um, eating twice as much now because I don't, I don't leave the house. Oh, I have, like... So I'm uh, eating twice as much. I have to work out twice as much. That, that's what my mum says. I mean, mum, I'm hungry. No, you're not. You're yeah. just saying it because you're bored and you've got nothing yeah. else to do. That's you're, literally you're, what's happening. So what's your, your favorite mom, Your color? mom is right. She is uh, right. Favorite, she favorite color... Favorite color is blue. Yes, my favorite color is blue as well. It's got a blue top on. Uh, what's your favorite book? Um, I love reading uh, Hemingway. So my first Hemingway book was uh, called uh, The Old Man and the Sea. He wrote mm -hmm. it. He wrote that book actually in a little island really close to here, to Miami, um, in the Bahamas, called Bimini, and I go there quite a bit because um, it's fairly close. So. It just has a, a little bit of a more special Whoa, meaning. Wow, it's brilliant, isn't it? See, it, it's got, it feels like you've got everything surrounding you. Uh, so <laughs> now, favourite movie of all time? Whoa, that's a, that's Ooh, a stinker, that one. this is a one. tough one. Um, it's a corker. It's a, it's a corker. <laughs> Did I say that right? Yes, it's a corker. Okay. It's a corker. <laughs> um, I would have to say Coming to America. Mm-hmm. Well, it's, a, it's an Eddie America. Murphy. It's a it's an Eddie Murphy movie. Eddie Murphy and Arsenio Hall comedy from back in the day. You weren't born back then, um, but they're making they're they're doing Coming to America two now. They're they're oh, filming it. So you're gonna be watching I'm, that. I'm, oh, I'm, I'll be there. They oh, will. Right on it. Where's it now? <laughs> it's funny. Like, it's a really funny like, movie. All the viewers will be looking at the news for you and your new song, and you'll be like, what, 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 "Where's it? Where's Coming to America two? Yeah, yeah. You, yeah. You, you should you should see it. It's a good movie. Oh, watch it now. Now I've got a suggestion. I mean, is it maybe it's on the plane? Because I, I, I always get bored when I'm on the plane because you've watched all the movies on the way there. When you come on the way back, you're like, what am I going to watch now? It's true. But you should download them, you, you know, like Netflix. That's or, what I do. Yeah. I, I, I mm -hmm. watch a lot of series and, you know, like Game of Thrones and stuff. And, and I, I watch it. I'm very impatient, so if it doesn't get into the good bit straight away, it goes off. Mm. Or just fast forward it. Just like, yeah. oh, what happens? So it's at the start and it's getting, like, gets a bit tense. I'm like, right, fed up with this waiting. Just go to the next episode and the next one yeah. until it comes for the good bit. And then I'm like, right, now for the good bit. You know what I mean? Well, you have to, you have to watch it despacito. You can't be impatient. You have to, you, see? Do you see where the title of the, 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 of the song came in there? You see what I did there? <laughs> Slowly, mm -hmm. you have to I be did. patient. Did. You have to mm -hmm. be patient, my friend. <laughs> Despacito, slowly, yeah? See, this, see, this is where it comes in handy. And by the way, thank you so much for your time now. I won't keep you for much longer. But thank you so much. It's been great speaking to you. You could obviously come to a football match. So if you're ever in Manchester, yes. give me a shout on Instagram and we'll come. We'll, you can come to a game with us. Yeah. And I will bring a deck that. of cards. I will yes, bring a deck, bring of a deck of cards. Right, there we go. Two things in one. You're yeah. forward thinking, you aren't you? Hey, Great. Listen, so, I gotta, got to. With you, I have to be on my toes. Oh, well, sometimes. I'm just on it today, <laughs> kind of. When I'm not on it, you can get me. All no, the time. man. I don't so, think so. I think you're always on it. Well, thank you very much. So we've got we've got our football match. We've got our magic trick. We've got our favorite <laughs> colors blue. See, this, yes. we are we are gonna be friends here. This and when you, 18, when you turn 18, when you turn 18, I'll take you skydiving with me if your mom lets you. Oh, uh, yes. I don't want to get in trouble with your parents. Mom, when I'm 18, can I do skydiving? No, she says no. Okay, well, no. she's the boss, so I'm not getting in, the, in between this. She Whatever says no, she says but, is right. But don't worry, I'll change your mind. I'm very good at persuading. Like, don't get me in trouble. Seven up, three.
Very good at persuading. Well, well, at least you know you've had, you've had one four hours ago. But it's gone now. Very good at persuading. Don't worry. I've got this. All right. Just don't get so me in trouble. So thank you so it much for your oh, idea. Well, there we go. We've got our magic trick. As I say, we've got our football uh, football match with me. We've got our favourite colours blue. I'll try and persuade me once to go skydiving. Don't worry. <laughs> I've got that. That's all undercover from me. I'll take one for the team there. Well, thank there you, you so much for your time. You've been so nice to me. And guys, thank you so much for tuning in. And if you want to see more GG Talks, make sure you keep on tuning in and go to the Global Gift Foundation's websites and social media to check out all the amazing things they do. From both of us, stay safe, stay well, and goodbye. See you soon. Thank you see so you much. Soon. Your, your, your interview was amazing. You, you did a great job. Hasta luego, my amigo. And, and I would love to say something in Spanish because I see that there's a lot of people here writing who are writing in Spanish and Don't we've been worry. speaking in English. So, un beso bien grande a todos mis latinos que están aquí conectados. Hemos estado hablando en inglés un ratito, pero que sepan que los tengo súper presentes y que los quiero mucho. Así que gracias por todo el apoyo a toda mi gente de habla hispana. Un beso grande. I love you guys. Thank you, Global Gift. Check out their webpage. They do amazing work. And man, this was a great interview. You did great. I'm, I'm well, proud of you. And, and thank you for we'll see you soon. Thank yeah, you so sure. much. And don't sure. worry, I'll be good at mine. I've got a magic trick to show you. In fact, boom, going to blow your mind. It. I'm sure it will. Thing. Well, thank I'm you sure. very much. I'll let you go now. See you later, right. mate. Bye. Bye-bye. Adios.